Welcome, math enthusiasts, to the ultimate math Olympiad journey. Get ready to embark on a thrilling adventure as we dive deep into the world of the British Mathematical Olympiad BMO test paper. This is for the 2022-2023 paper. So join us as we unravel the challenging problems, unlock hidden strategies, and sharpen our problem-solving skills together. So whether you're a seasoned mathlete or just a curious learner, this is the place to hone your mathematical prowess and conquer the BMO like a true champion. Let's dive into it. Question number one. A road has houses numbered from one to N, where N is a three digit number. Exactly 1K of the numbers start with the digit two where k is a positive integer. Find the possible values of n. So we're told that n, the number of houses, are a three-digit number. So let's go ahead and start with the smallest value that n could be. So let's say there's 100 houses. Well, if the houses start with a digit 2, then we can go with 2, 20, 21, all the way up to 29. So 11 in total, which means it will be 11 out of 100. So that is not going to give us a fraction of 1 over k. So we cannot use 100. But because the number of houses starting with a 2 is not going to change for a bit, we can keep on increasing n and look at when this will cancel down. So if we say n is 110, we know that this can cancel down, as that would then give us 11 over 110 which will be equivalent to 1 over 10. And we can carry on with all of the values of n that are multiples of 11, and let's go over to 198. And that would give us 11 over 198, which is equivalent to 1 over 18. And there we have our first nine numbers. So what happens next? Well, when we go back to 200, we've got another house that starts with the number 2. So we've got 12 of those now. So that's 12 over 200. And we know 12 doesn't go into 200, so it remains as it is. Now, as we increase the house numbers, if we do 200 plus A, every single one of those will start with a 2. So let's look at 12 plus A over 200 plus A. So now we need to think about when 200 plus A is divisible by 12 plus A. So we're looking for when the number 12 plus a goes exactly into 200 plus a. So I'm using this notation here, which comes across as divide. So we've got restrictions on a, as we need a to be greater than or equal to 1, or less than or equal to 99. So if 200 plus a is within the 12 plus a times table, then so is 200 plus a minus 12 plus a. So I'm just going to rewrite that right away as 12 plus a divides 200 plus a minus 12 plus a. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means that we'll have 12 plus a dividing into 188. And that there has a limited number of factors, which is going to be 2 squared plus 47. So we now know that 12 plus a cannot be equal to 1 2 or 4, but it can equal to 47. Or, if we double it, 94. And those give us the possible values of a. So now we can return to our table to finish it off. So we've now got both of our values for 12 plus a, which is 47 and 94. So let's take a as 47. So what does that mean? Well, that means that a equals 35 as we take the 12 over. And likewise for 94, that gives us n as 235 if we go ahead and substitute it in. And that proportion would be 47 out of 235, which is equal to 1 fifth. So that's a possible value of n. And now when 12 plus a is 94, we then know that gives us 282 as n. And that gives us as 94 over 282, which is equal to 1 third, which is also another possible value. And we can see that these are the only possible values of n that are in the 200s. And now it gets a little bit easier, because when we get to 300, we have got 111 houses that start with a digit 2. 
So 300 isn't going to be an allowable value. But if we have 333, that is. So that gives us 111 over 333. But we're not going to get any more new houses that start with a 2. So we can just include all of the multiples of 111. So again, that can bring us to 999. So that means we end up with three different sets of n that are possible here. We've got these ones here, which is multiple of 11. We've got two that we found that starts with 200. And then we have these ones here, which are multiples of 111. So in total, that gives us 18 possible values. And that's our answer. I hope that question was clear. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to go ahead and get the solutions for the next questions, please click the link on the screen now. And don't forget to like this video and leave a comment with your thoughts and ideas. Until next time, keep solving and keep thriving.